Welcome to Destination Me for your ultimate adventure travel destinations. So in this video, we have created a list of the 10 best wildlife holidays in Australia. It's not just koalas and kangaroos, but also a plethora of other incredible Australian wildlife encounters. With the zoos, sanctuaries, and magnificent vistas, it's no surprise that Australia is a dream destination for many visitors. Number 10. Sea Lions, Kangaroo Island, South Australia Kangaroo Island is renowned for its raw beauty and nature getaways, making it one of the most unforgettable places to visit in South Australia. Kangaroo Island is home to Australian sea lions, New Zealand fur seals, its own subspecies of western grey kangaroo, hammer wallaby, koalas, echidnas, platypus, and a variety of bird life, with more than a third of the island protected in nature reserves. Some of the must-see locations are Sill Bay, where you can see sea lions, Admiral's Arch, where you can see fur seals, Flinders Chase National Park, where you can see echidnas, platypus, and Cape Barren geese, American River, where you can see sea colonies, and Little Sahara, an island-wide area with sand dunes. Number 9. Well Sharks Marine Park Ningaloo Ningaloo Marine Park is World Heritage listed and home to hundreds of fish and coral species, making snorkeling as simple as a short paddle offshore. There's more to view than just fish. Book a guided tour with whale sharks, humpback whales, manta rays, turtles, dolphins, and dugongs. If you'd rather stay dry, take a glass bottom boat cruise to see the reef. The months of March through August are the ideal for spotting whale sharks migrating, while the months of June through November are prime humpback whale viewing months. During the warmer months of February and March, you may visit the Jurabee Turtle Center to take an eco-educational tour and see turtle hatchlings make their maiden foray into the ocean. Number 8. Crocodiles, Cockadoo National Park, Northern Territory Both freshwater and saltwater crocodiles can be found in the river systems of the Northern Territory. Furthermore, Viewing the huge reptiles in person is essential to making the most of your trip to Darwin. Kakadu National Park, which has over 10,000 wild crocodiles, is two hours drive from Darwin. Going on a boat tour or watching the dangerous animals from a higher vantage point are the best ways to do it safely. There are 90 and 120 minute cruises along the Yellow Water Billabong, offered by Yellow Water Cruises. Numerous species of wildlife are present throughout the vast marshes. Kakadu is therefore the spot to go if you enjoy a daring adventure close to crocodiles that eat flesh. Number 7. Kangaroos, Uluru Katajuta National Park There are no better places to explore the landscape and wildlife of Australia's Red Center than the majestic Uluru the iconic sandstone monolith, and a must-see for any Australia bucket list. The municipality of Alice Springs, the MacDonald Ranges, Kings Canyon and Watarka National Park, and the legendary monoliths of World Heritage listed Uluru Kata Juta National Park are all located in this remote region. In addition, Uluru is home to red kangaroos, dingoes, bilbies, blue-tongued lizards, emus, Mala, spine effects, hopping mice, horses, camels, and the spectacular thorny devil, and many other reptile and bird species. Not only have these animals who live here found unique ways to survive through their evolution, but they're highly sacred to the First Nations cultures and play an important role in Dreamtime stories. Number six, cassowaries, Daintree Rainforest, Queensland. Northeast Queensland's 1,200 square kilometer World Heritage listed Daintree Rainforest is a portion of the continent of Australia's largest continuous tropical rainforest. It serves as a reminder of Australia's hot, muggy history, which occurred millions of years ago, before the continent's climate started to get drier 
and hotter. BirdLife International has designated the Daintree Rainforest as an important bird area, or IBA, primarily due to the presence of a population of southern cassowaries there. Two endemic species of bowerbirds, gorgeous fairy wrens, fern wrens, owls, kingfishers, and several other bird species all have habitat thanks to it. Number five, dugongs, Shark Bay, Western Australia. Dugongs are marine creatures that can grow to be three meters long and weigh up to 400 kilograms. They are quite peaceful creatures that move around in family groups, surfacing only to breathe. Dugongs, sometimes known as sea cows because they graze on seagrass, are one of 16 endangered species found in Western Australia's Shark Bay World Heritage Area and Marine Park. Number four, Quokkas, Rottnest Island, Perth. The quokka is a tiny kangaroo found exclusively on Rottnest Island, 10 miles off the coast of Perth in Western Australia. The island has a rich cultural history and is now a lovely nature reserve. And the quokka is just as significant as the stunning white beaches and dramatic scenery in drawing people. Don't forget to snap yourself a quokka selfie. Number three, Tasmanian Devils, Maria Island, Tasmania. Maria Island National Park is located off the east coast of Tasmania and is home to a variety of unusual flora and fauna. It is also one of the best spots in Australia to see wild wombats up close. The world's largest burrowing animal, the chonky furball, can be frequently seen waddling and digging dirt on Maria Island. Despite the fact that the wombats on Maria Island are wild and move freely, they do not appear to be afraid of humans. As a result, you can go very near to them for shots without their fleeing. Visitors to Maria Island should still follow the guidelines, which include not picking up wombats, not going too close if they have kids, not surrounding the wombats, and not chasing the wombats if they are wandering away. Tasmania is also the only site where Tasmanian devils can be found in the wild. In 2013, 28 healthy Tasmanian devils were sent to Maria Island for a captive breeding effort in order to save the species' decreasing population. On the island now, there are approximately 100 of the little carnivorous marsupials. Number 2. Koalas, Raymond Island, Victoria if you want to see koalas in the wild, Raymond Island is unlike any other island in Australia. Despite being approximately 6.4 kilometers long and 1.8 kilometers wide, the island in the Gippsland region is home to about 250 wild koalas. The island's furry inhabitants can be seen all throughout, usually relaxing on trees. On Raymond Island, in addition to having the biggest population of wild koalas, you may also find kangaroos, echidnas, wombats, and possums. Due to its size, Raymond Island is simple to tour on foot or by bicycle. The Koala Trail is a 1.2 kilometer long trek that circles the island and begins at the major ferry terminal. Number one, Thorny Devils, Central and Outback Australia. Thorny devils can be found all over the sand plains of Central and Western Australia, but they prefer the dry desert scrub. Cone-shaped spines envelop them, protecting them while also assisting in the collection of water that is directed by grooves to their mouth. The thorny devils use ants as food, often devouring 1,000 in one sitting. They are chased by bustards and goannas, despite having powerful spines. Thus, their camouflage coloring and artificial head on the back of their necks are vital to survival. Australia is a one-of-a-kind country in many ways, and wildlife tours in Australia will take you to see animals found nowhere else on the planet. Kangaroos, koalas, wallabies, and wombats are well-known marsupials. But a professional local wildlife guide can also show you some of the more elusive creatures of the bush and rainforest. You may spend a day watching wildlife as part of a wider Australian vacation. So, what do you think? 
What do you think about these best wildlife holidays in Australia? Which one did you like the most and why? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.